Greetings from the farm. Hope you're well. My name is Chisha Folotia and I'm so glad you could join us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. Where am I standing? I am standing in a place called Clinton. We call this place Clinton and it is a place that we have planted. All around me you can see these pine trees. These are pine trees that were planted in February of this year, 2022. And what we're going to do is talk about all the things that have happened in order to make these pine trees happen. Now, it was a very, very long story. It took about 11 months from the time we made the seedlings up to the time we actually planted them. And as we are now in the middle of June, we are now starting to plan our potting for our seedlings that we're going to be planting the next coming rain season. As you know, in farming, there's a lot of planning and preparation work that, ha that has to happen. So we're going to break up the story into two parts. The first part, we'll talk about how we actually made the pots and the seedlings for everything that was later planted. And then the second part, the second video, we'll talk about how we actually planted them and all the work that goes into actually planting this field, Clinton, and all the other fields we did up at Alaska and Canada and everything for this year. Stay with us. So this is part one of the 2022 tree planting videos. And this one is going to be talking about how we actually made all the pots and everything that happened. So before we go into the story, I'm standing at Clinton and all around me are little pine trees. So let's take a very quick look at them and see how they're actually doing so far. So here are the trees, the pine trees that were planted here at Clinton. And looking at how they're actually growing a lot of them are doing extremely well, extremely well. Here's a little guy. So for the sake of scale, I put my foot there and we, you can see there's a couple that seem to have dried out and that is something that happens. Now we don't always give up on things like this. We don't always give up because come rain, we might actually find they actually grow. Ah, there's the clue. What's happening here? This is ants. Ants and trees don't get on, they just don't. Ants, termites, a whole bunch of them. Okay, here's the thing. So, here is a quick pan around some of our trees. We will have to, just to clarify, we will have to come back and do something about these ants here. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we're here for, for, for different purpose. So here's more of the pine trees that were planted this year and here's one that survived from the previous year so there's a bit of a backstory to the trees here at clinton and they were originally planted in 2021 and then most of them died um, a number of reasons there was rainfall there was the quality of seedlings there was our planting method where we put in um, chicken manure lots and lots of reasons there's an old saying uh what is the old saying um you know, success has many fathers, uh, failure as an orphan. That's what they say. And here, we really, we, you know, it was really quite difficult, but we had to be resilient as ever with farming and we had to replant again. And ones like this one here were the ones from the previous year. So you can see it's quite a lot older uh, than its counterparts uh, next to it. It's, um, it's quite high, actually. It's doing quite well. It's almost about 60 centimeters tall. There's another one here. And funny enough, there's another one of the new ones here. Oh, the issue of the lines and how the lines were set during the line reading. Hey, this is the real world. So these two and one you can see over there, uh, just there, yeah, there where my finger's pointing. They are from the previous year. But other than that, you can see the ones that were actually planted this year and that we came back and beat up on this one. So the 2021 pine crop um, here at Clinton was pretty much a disaster and for all the reasons I mentioned just now. And then we decided for 2022 that we were actually going to grow our own seedlings. And uh, that is one of the many lessons that I've had to learn uh, from the time I entered this farming journey uh, around about 2020. So the first step was to research and learn how to set up the seedling nursery. 
I've read a lot of books and website articles and, you know, watched a lot of videos over the past three years, but we really needed to see the real thing. So in late April, I took our team uh, up to Zafiko in Indola and uh, they were gracious enough to show us around. And we spent a day getting immersed in what exactly they do. It was quite an eye-opening trip and it filled us with inspiration for the journey ahead. Where am I from? Oh, oh, not some money. I'm <laughs> okay. But first, Mundam. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you need bigger pots because they're going to be a bit longer. But you are planting them directly in the field, this, so that maintain those pots. So, when you say a field orchard or? A uh, field orchard, they are going to be getting the seeds for the same field. Oh, okay, so they're not for yeah, not consumption or whatever. Yeah, they're not using them for industrial purposes. But if you plant them, the normal one, then they'll yeah, use the same to my pots. Yes, maybe they say. After over a year to this side, that's when you, you change sometimes, but not always. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the, what are we using to grow? Uh, the growing media. Yeah. So you get from our compartment. And then we got back to Lusaka and we had to start a process of actually preparing the tree seedlings that we were going to plant the following year. The first part of the process inv involves buying pots, the plastic pots and sleeves that, you, that you're actually going to make the seedlings in. And then we had to get some good soil from around the farm. And then we started filling the pots. And this, as you can imagine, is another one of those technical terms they have in farming and these processes. And it's called pot filling. Get, I mean, pot filling. That's what they call it. You know how farming is just full of these technical, technical terms. I will just have one video. Oh, I'm a plastic. I'm a bird. 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 So, one thousand red bossed. One thousand red bossed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I'm cutting a diamond. You're feeding up then. <laughs> okay, now you are now. Thank you. Good measurements. Now, what to you on down? What to do? 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 Well, there are three types. Tinai, Nai, then I am not better. 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 I Maning even, because Maro are people. to deny Maning. Now, who consult? So the last one, he allies or Kunumbe. Because we could have the pressure party two. Yeah. And also it means Pakusala position yeah the next thing. Tefa to even pesa. The next one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. Mga Valen da. Valani. At least still na pressure, we. Is ta munga pari booster pump. Mhm. Ka pushing ka, pushing ya pa farm, what ni boss.
I'm now here at 14 and this is how we have gone far we have arranged all the columns according to what you told us yesterday this is the first line hole which is cutting six lines it covers six lines from the first line there up to here now we came to the second line hose it begins from here this is the first line the plastics are big the size is a this is my four by six by eight the sizes These are in the second lane hole. By tomorrow we are summarizing the work here, sir. Tomorrow, before 12 hours, we are summarizing at potting. Then next is the issue of sewing. By the way, in the end, we filled up way too many pots. It was our first time and uh, we do allow ourselves to, to learn on the job as it is. Um, yeah, we did fill up too many pots. Then we had to get hold of some seed. And this year, and that particular year, we had decided that we were going to plant pine, eucalyptus and casherina. So each of those three crops has got its own time horizon as to how long you actually um, have this, the seedlings uh, prepared for. So the earliest that you need to plant is pine. Pine takes six months, six months before it's ready to go into the ground. And that's why we were doing all this work by June. And by first week of July, we were able to plant our first, first pine seedlings. <laughs> We are now watering, sir. These are beds which we have sowed the pines. We are now watering. We are giving them uh, 30 minutes watering.
so by tomorrow we are finishing sewing the first line holes the line of the lines of the first first line hole Our pine seedlings started to germinate and we were able to really look after them and apply uh, some of the things you need to apply to in terms of some of the fertilizers and fungicides and insecticides. These are little crops after all, you basically got to keep looking after them. So, oh, because I found you weeding, I couldn't go. Eh, weeding, Jen, in like a four corner garden. That was four. Four. So here's the first one, that. Eh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not come up plan so to go see as you may like. I'm going to see a good reading out to some people taking stuff from some people who manage not spraying on my Watering on my pines, my baby pines. Rainbow. I own it, I made a chocolate chocolate, I made a mirror. The next of the tree crops that we needed to plant was eucalyptus. And this eucalyptus normally takes three months. Um, so it's normally planted around about September uh, so that it's ready for the rain seasons. By the time you get effective rains in uh, late November into December, mostly into January. Hey there. Well, it's been a good day. We've managed to plant the uh, sow the seeds for the two beds, and now we've just managed to uh, put the rain hose in and see how that's spraying one day. We need to be putting the rain hose on twice a day, morning and evening, about 30 minutes or so, and we see we should get germination in about two weeks' time. Showering about my Nisa Doga, my eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. So my pines. I am a Greetings from the farm. Today we are here at the um, 
shade, the new shade house, which was just completed yesterday. And what we're doing is uh, installing the uh, plumbing system. So as you can see behind me there, it's uh, 40 long by 20 wide. And this uh, shade house is uh, specifically for the tree seedling project. And I'll take you inside in a minute to see how it actually looks and uh, what we're doing in here, how the trees are doing. The new locking system is working. We love it, love it. So this uh, shade house was completed yesterday and the guys, they just left yesterday evening. And as you can see, we've covered the area that had the tree seedlings. So we've got the plumbers here uh, doing their work. Lots of UPVC and PVC and boxes and boxes of stuff there. And then I'll take you, yeah, we've changed the system a little bit. I'll take you inside. We look at, here's some empty pots, which are going to have these eucalyptus seedlings transplanted into them in the next couple of days or so. Lots and lots of empty pots. When we did this potting back in July, August, July, June, July. Yeah, it went on for days and days and days. It really did go on for days and days and days and uh, produced all these. And then on the uh, August the 8th, as you can see here, we planted these uh, eucalyptus seeds into some of the pots, into two lines of the pots. And uh, they've really germinated very well. So we have a closer look at some of them. Okay. And they're now ready for uh, transplanting into each one, into its own pots. By the way, we call plastic sleeveless pots, pots. Um, yeah, it's a thing. Farming's full of stuff. I'm gonna cross over here. I'm going to do a little bit of acrobatics. Okay, we now cross into the uh, yellow, the pine. Yellow pine, which was planted in uh, July one to three. And these were planted individually into their own pots, each one into its own pot. And they've germinated uh, really quite well. So we're now sorting whereby the uh, over there in the corner, we're starting the new layout of this thing, of this uh, tree seedlings here. So I'm crossing over, I'm having to uh, jump over the uh, rain hose. So here we have the uh, pine seedlings, some of the pine seedlings that were sown this year. Uh, these are the ones that germinated and these are the pots from the ones that didn't germinate. Such is the nature of uh, uh, tree plant seedling thingies, especially when you start the first year. So, well, you know, part of you says, oh my gosh, we only got so many out of so many. The other half says, you know what, we did okay. And we have all these empty pots that we're going to use for um, the uh, eucalyptus seedlings that we have there. So obviously we prefer to use these three by five and the four by six uh, sleeves than the bigger pots. The bigger pots are heavier on the thing here and we can use them for other plants. We're also looking to do some um, palms and stuff which are coming in next week as well here in this beautiful microclimate environment. So it's 1,000. So the bunching 1,000, 1,000 per bit. Uri ama four. This is the Eucalyptus. This we are transplanting 
we are transplanting all your collectors and in one pot we are leaving one tree only So if you need to go now, go inga 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 kwa ni malai ni anga. Apa tuna sala apa tuta tuap. Ni ni chepesa. So aja kasi ra aja malai ni kasi ra ni kuambo tunisha ya manje. Kwendo wa pangira kuja. Hai amena. Hai angina wawo wasa kini wawo. Ego kwendo panga manje mabedi kuja. Na hapo pamene pambu ya hapo. Pambi ya. So to get So we're taking a look at how we prepared the 2022 tree seedlings. So far we've looked at the pine, how we made the pine seedlings, and also how we planted twice the eucalyptuses. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please like the video. That's a thumbs up button, if you can. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel so that the YouTube algorithm will keep you informed each and every time, especially if you press the ding button that a new video comes. And you can also comment below, ask us some questions or tell us some of your own experiences experiences and you can share this video on some of your social networks whether it's whatsapp or facebook or whatever so another part of the story that i haven't mentioned is what happened with the casherina so casherina is another type of commercial tree that we've grown uh, here at winterthorn it's not the most common uh, the most common being pine and then of course eucalyptus but casherina is another tree that we decided let's give it a try and see how it actually grows so we also uh, tried to grow our own tree seedlings and for that what we did is rather than grow them in pots you actually see here where we made a little nursery bed and then we were drilling the seeds in and waiting for them to germinate. This is one of those that's more like the, uh, the sort of seedlings that we plant for other vegetables and stuff. Each tree, as you can see, has different ways of planting. So the casherina, as you can see, was quite a disappointment. Um, it just wasn't growing well. We did get back to the guy who supplied us uh, the seeds, the casherina seeds, and he told us, well, he'd had exactly the same problem with the batch that he had kept from the same batch. He had also tried planting them. So this is what happens sometimes in farming. You get a bad seed and, and uh, this is it. Casherina. Yeah, one, uh, 171. And then we'd reached the stage where some of our eucalyptus um, seedlings that we had planted in August were now beginning to be overgrown and taken up a lot of space in the shade house. So we had to move them out um, over to Dubai. I think some of you have seen Dubai is where we've planted onions now. And of course, we looked after them there. They were being watered and taken care of, but they were really growing quite tall and we were very growing very anxious as to what was actually going to happen to them, uh, whether they would actually work. Um, we were advised that sometimes when tree seedlings, especially eucalyptus, are too tall, uh, they don't work out in the field. And hey, presto, that's exactly what happens. Sometimes in farming, the advice you're given by those who've done it before actually turns out right. Hmm, who would have thought? It's better to listen. You know, sometimes we come into farming with too many ideas of our own. We read, we chani, and 
we think these people don't know what they're doing. But no, in this particular case, they did know what we're doing. And I'm grateful uh, for a lot of the advice that we've been given uh, along this farming journey, especially in things that we've never actually done before. And it is one of the reasons why I set up this YouTube channel so that I would be able to then share with people on a wider scale some of the lessons that we've learned. Miangane Jackson Vamena Chitara Miangan Sisi Vamena Chosa because of Nunga to my suckers to Mutucho Sam Shemushi, not to dance of Vipanga Vironda because of Gavich does and a force in Zapanga Zangana Viron. So I come back to the Then after the man is angry, they are grading. I just I'm here now at Liverview Shed House. These are pines. So we are now on last day. We are now about to finish this grading the pines. Mm -hmm. So after finishing, we're going to remove these empty pots. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it there for the another use. And uh, I'm happy with the plants which he, our boss brought here to grade this because he so sunlight. It was a problem, it was a challenge. So a Pazuwa is a boy a man's it is a boy in a man's So you have advantage of that of this plan. I mean, another. So I've got an camera, so I'm going to turn the camera on. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Excuse me, I have a message for you. I have a And we we're now reaching the rainy season. We were doing the land clearing with the TLBs coming in to prepare the land and deciding which um, trees we were going to plant. For example, we always knew that we were going to bring the um, pines back here at Clinton because we had had such a, a terrible time with the with the trees dying from the 2021 crop. So we needed to, to build to bid up here. And then we were also looking at different areas like um, Canada where the new area where we had rocks and we knew that let's plant some eucalyptus there we had some other backfilling of the cashorinas and other eucalyptus that had been challenged in 2021 we had planted quite late and doing the whole chicken manure thing also hadn't worked out for us and the rains in 2021 stopped very abruptly it was like someone up there just turned off a switch and uh, that really gave us a challenge especially that we had planted a little bit late because of many many other pressures we knew there was also another couple of spots um let me try and turn the camera around and hopefully you can see over there over the valley that's alaska block uh, b and we have you can see some lines there just where my hopefully where my finger is hopefully you can see that and that's where we actually had um some some more of the of the pines that we planted as well as another section there in uh, the thing but that is going to be shown in the second video because the story would be too long for one this focus today has been on this video sorry has been on how we actually made the pots and we're at the stage now in the story where the pots are ready to go in the ground
Greetings from the farm. Just a quick update on how our tree seedling nursery is doing. There's been quite a lot of work happened here in the last uh, month or so, and now the rains have started. They seem to have started properly. We are getting ready for the time when a lot of these um, pine and eucalyptus seedlings, we shall be moving out into the field. So a quick reminder, when did we sow these pine? This pine is a Mexican yellow pine, sorry and it was sown on July the 1st to the 2nd to the 3rd and it's doing very really well. Now, let me talk about what's happening here in terms of the way we're now laying them out. They are graded from highest to lowest and the reason for that is so that the big guys don't take the sun away from the little guys and that's a new practice that we were advised to do and uh, seems to be working really really well when we had them all jumbled up and mixed up it was a bit of a challenge the little guys just couldn't get enough sun so now uh, and what you can see also if i step back a little bit is that the uh, edge of the um, shade house here there's more sun coming in so we put the little guys here and then the bigger guys here in the middle so successful crop we had our first customer uh, come and collect 1500 um, seedlings with a little bacilla uh, the other day thank you very much to our beloved customer we wouldn't be who, you, who we are without you and we look forward to giving you more uh, seedlings next year moving over into this section where we see recently transplanted uh, eucalyptus and we had sown this one a few let's check the crop poster as always this was what no that is the wrong crop poster in the wrong place yeah this wasn't that's the wrong stuff maybe it was from before they were moved am i making excuses for them a little bit okay we've got some eucalyptus here uh stumbling to get and then so the eucalyptus was transplanted into these pots so you can see it it's now starting to firm up and it's actually taken hold it was transplanted a few days ago and it's now gotten over the shock and some of it is actually really 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 picking when is this trying when is this eucalyptus going to be ready to go maybe towards the end of the rainy season we've got some casuarina here casuarina a wonderful tall thin tree where we didn't succeed with our crop of casuarina this particular year but we've got about 170 or so of which slowly whittling down um, but these ones will be used around the farm as windbreakers and that's what we need a lot of windbreaking here crossing over to some of the other crops uh, tree crops that we have here we had also planted some musangu tree musangu seeds and this is how they're coming up and as you can see the grading as well where you keep the ones of a similar height next to each other so that they don't crowd out the sun of the friends. The little people, the little people. This is a musangu from around about October-ish, actually. We've got some eucalyptus, some avocado, apologies, uh, that we're also gonna be planting around the farm as well, just to keep the fruit, um, fruit availability for all of us i'm going to head into the uh, palm section and here we have a king palm some king palms uh, these are more of our gardening products and uh, we have a retail outlet related to us that we're giving going to be selling these through so this one is a little mini phoenix and they came out of a, a nursery uh, it's a bit slightly more mature uh, cypress and a few more casuarinas over there as well so the palms and stuff is on here um, quick look at our watering system we have these pipes um, 32 millimeter pipe is it 32 yeah 32 and then we have a saddle clamp and then we have a riser pipe which is a three-quarter gi and then the beloved butterfly uh, sprinkler as well so here we have some slightly more mature poplars and pines and some fishtail palms hidden in there somewhere into space is much better and of course this is one very interesting one because 
These are some poplars that we sort of did some cuttings from near where we live and um, we need these urgently for more of the wind breaking around some of our shed houses um, around the farm as well as some of our fields and uh, poplar is a very good strong uh, thingy that you know you use you kind of you can see on the, the poster here how they're actually used especially for wind breaking and for creating a curtain to protect our fields and other structures so here we are that is the uh, quick look at our tree seedling nursery up here on Riverview today December the 18th oh 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 before I go before I go almost didn't get there so here's some fern acacia there's this tree that grows all over the place and um, apparently it's not even native to Zambia and uh, we got a couple of the seeds and we planted them and we hopefully to be able to propagate them and be able to put them around it's it's one of the acacia family and it's moving quite well I've got some more palms here which I can't remember which ones they are and then we've got a leopard tree leopard tree is one of the most popular um, ornamental sort of trees if you go to in Lusaka at East Park uh, you see a lot of the leopard trees in the car parks there and as well as a lot in other people's homes so a mixture of uh, commercial timber trees over there uh, with the pine, the cashewina and the eucalyptus as well as um, leguminous uh, trees for farming uh, which is the musango which is the musango over there and then we've got ornamental gardening stuff here the palms all sorts of palms and then of course some other uh, general purpose trees like the ornamental trees as well the leopard trees and um, fern acacias and of course our beloved poplars here so this has been the first year that we've run uh, this particular exercise and uh, we have this wonderful um, enclosure here at Riverview and it gives the trees in this, this the nursery sort of a very good atmosphere in which to grow. Before they go out they're normally hardened um, outside of here where we give them some real sun. So that's Dubai down there and Dubai A and the onion fields over there and the Chongo River is flowing in that place. I hope you can see the riverine uh, trees and here on this side if I turn is Baghdad and here at Baghdad we also planted uh, some of the 2022 uh, pine trees and I think you can see that we got quite a very good uh, response and survival right here. You can also see the Miala. I've talked so many times on the videos about the tree about the, the um, that these trees grow really really well where you are you've got rocks here we can't do much else with this so we decided to use this particular one uh, for trees so we've had a very good look at the way that the tree seedlings uh, were prepared in uh, starting from around about May, June uh, 2021. And we planted the pine, we planted the eucalyptus, and we also planted some cashewina and how we actually looked after those uh, tree seedlings up to the point where we were reaching now the stage for actually planting and putting them into the ground once the rainy season was established and we had sorted out other issues in terms of soya beans planting and maize planting and weeding and all the issues that come with the rainy season. Part two is going to show you that particular process about how we actually uh, planted them and all the things that happened in terms of that. And I hope you've enjoyed this particular video, part one of the 2022 uh, tree story uh, that showed you how we made the things you know, the actual seedlings. I'm looking forward to joining me again. I will do it as quickly as I can. I've got some other pressures, but I will get it done in the next couple of weeks and we'll talk about how we actually planted the trees. My name is Yusha Polotia and I'm always so grateful for everybody who takes the time to join us here on the Mondo Farms channel on YouTube. Um, please, if you like the video, then press the thumbs up button. That, that's the thumbs up button that looks like this. Um, you can also comment below and ask us a couple of questions or make some comments. Um, you can also um, uh, share the video on some of your social networks, YouTube and Facebook and WhatsApp and all these other things. 
And one of the best ways to always be kept informed of the new videos and new developments that are happening is if you subscribe to the channel. So press the subscribe button and press the ding, that little button, ding. That button will actually let you, uh, YouTube will let you know whenever a new video comes, which is run about every seven to 10 days or so. Um, thank you very much for joining us here on the Mondo Farms channel. Um, it's always a pleasure to be with you and to be able to share uh, some of the things that we are learning and experiencing here at Mondo Farms. You take care. Shale Nipo. Bye-bye.